வணக்கம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் கோர்ஸ் ஆன் எஸ்ஐபி மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் இன் திஸ் செஷன் வி வில் பி டிஸ்கசிங் ஹவு டு ரன் எம்ஆர்பி இன் எஸ்ஐபி ஹியர் வில் பி டிஸ்கசிங் கிளாசிக் எம்ஆர்பி ரன் எம்ஆர்பி லைவ் அண்ட் வாட் ஆர் தி செலக்ஷன் பேராமீட்டர்ஸ் யூஸ்ட் டு ரன் எம்ஆர்பி பிஃபோர் கோயிங் டு த செஷன் லெட் அஸ் சி த ஆன்சர்ஸ் ஃபார் தி குவிசஸ் இன் தி லாஸ்ட் செஷன் what are the three major benefits of mrp explained in this session because there are many benefits you can come across but what are the benefits we discussed in this course the first benefit is balancing customer service level and cost that is inventory cost and also the capital cost second is to ensure right quantity of right metal at right time the third thing is to take proactive actions on exceptionally these are the three major benefits of mrp run what are the outputs of mrp any mrp will give an output of planned orders to produce the products purchase requests to purchase the products exception messages to handle the any deviations what is the difference between gross requirement and net requirement gross requirement is calculated from bill of material as it is to produce a product net requirement is arrived from gross requirement and then available stock and open orders will be reduced to arrive at how much is to be produced or procured from outside what are the three major lot sizing procedures three major lot sizing procedures are static procedure periodic procedure and optimum procedure what is the difference between weekly lot size and seven days lot size weekly lot size considers requirements of a pre defined week for example if we define weekdays from sunday to Uh, saturday then system will consider requirements between sunday and saturday but seven days requirements it will start on any day it will consider all the seven days requirement from the date where the requirement is happening from the date it will take seven days so there is a difference between weekly lot size and seven days lot size same thing applicable for monthly lot size and also lot size of 30 or 31 what is the role of opening date in scheduling opening date defines the number of working days for a planner or buyers to work on the production orders and purchase orders respectively like uh, some administrative activities before releasing the orders either to the shop floor or to the uh, supplier what is the role of a scrap in mrp no because any uh, scrap will be there in any production right so we need to arrive at the proportionate additional material to have complete desired planned quantity production that is why we need a scrap so this scrap has to be defined otherwise we will end up with a shortage of materials if the scrap is not considered in our planning process in the last session we discussed the logic of how mrp is working in this session we will be discussing how to run mrp in sap this is the logic of mrp we discussed in the last session where it takes the inputs from planning parameters demand bill of materials inventory status based on this system arrived what is the gross requirement that is converted into net requirement and the system will give the planned orders and purchase requisitions and also the exception messages we also discussed various steps involved in mrp in sap the first step is there will be a planning file entry will be there for each material there will be a planning file entry and based on after that there will be net requirement calculation where the stock and requirements and the receipts they will be compared and net requirement will, will be arrived at and the lot size calculation and procurement quantity will be arrived considering the order quantity that is the rounding value lot size many other factors and then scheduling will be done that is the date on which we need to issue the order when should we receive the materials and then procurement source proposal whether it has to be in house production external requirement or stock transfer and then bom exploration is the next material we have to go for the next dependent item the requirement that will be like a cycle this will be keep on going as a cycle the mrp run can be carried out with different bases depending on the business need like uh, we can run for a plant or combination of plants material or combination of materials for product groups which is especially for the assembly process 
MRP controller and also the planning need. We have to run MRP only for MRP materials or MPS materials. MRP based on materials planning need is that in general MPS and MRP. MPS is used mainly for the finished products and semi finished products or critical sub assemblies. MRP type used for these metals are MS that is M0, M1, M2, etc. MRP is the general MRP applied for components and raw metals like a PD, P1, those kind of items. Uh, MRP types are used. MRP MPS is based on plant or MRP MPS we can run based on material also. And this can run for product group also. So we can do them on different basis, different combinations. First, let us talk about the classic MRP run. MRP run a classic way, it can be run in both the background and in the foreground. The transaction used MDBT will run MRP in the background. So it can be programmed so that MRP can run preferably uh, like in the preferable time, like you know, either it may be in the night or in the weekends. Please note that the MRP with MD01, which is to run MRP for entire plant online. It will consume a lot of resources. So we have to be very careful before we run the MRP with the MD01. Understanding the MRP selection parameters is very important and critical to master scheduler MRP controller. Both should understand them very clearly. And classic MRP run, the build selection parameters may be like a material, MRP area, plan. This is for a single metal you are running it, but the selection other parameter, control parameters are same for all. It starts with the net purchasing, sorry, net processing key. This is to mention what type of MRP run has to happen. For example, NETC CH means net change within the time horizon, uh, within the total horizon. NETPL means net change if it is there within the planning horizon. NEUPL means it is a regenerative MRP. Okay, this is for now it has to run MRP for entire thing. Next thing is create purchase equation. This is how to create purchase equation. For example, to create purchase equation for entire period or create purchase equation only within open period or create only planned orders, not creating the purchase equation. Because there are some organizations who want system to create planned orders, not the purchase requisitions. The planned orders will be converted into purchase requisitions by the planners. After that only it will go to the purchasing team. And then del delivery schedule lines, that is scheduling agreement delivery line items. Here if the purchase items are purchased through schedule agreement, how to create the schedule lines, whether to create schedule lines within open period and not create at all. See, please note, there are some parameters which are there in uh, MD01N, that is a new MRP. For example, that uh, NETPL, that is a net change in planning horizon, or the purchase requisition, that the planned orders option in the create purchase requisition, those kind of things may not be there in the MRP live, right? So those things are removed because system will run fast and also give all the outputs, so they don't want to put any restriction for the system performance. Next is the MRP list, whether the system has to create a MRP list. Here uh, we will give the option like create MRP list or depending on the exception messages, create the MRP list or we don't want a MRP, uh, MRP list. So this is available again only in the traditional MRP. This is not available in the new MRP that is MD01 and M MR, uh, sorry, what is that? Uh, MRP live. Uh, we are, will be using directly the stock requirement list. And then uh, planning mode. Planning mode defines adopt the planning data as it is or re explode BOM and routing or delete and recreate planning data. There are three options there to how to adopt the details and to take the details for the planning process. Here we have how to schedule the planned orders. Scheduling the planned orders can be done in two ways. One is determine the basic date for the planned orders. Only the basic dates are defined based on the, the planned orders. Here, its system will take the details from the material master. Next is the second option is lead time scheduling for capacity planning. Here, lead time scheduling system will take the timings from the routing routing system. Okay. Next is the uh, the also plan unchanged components. This means 
if you have set this indicator all the components contain the bill of metal are planned even if these components have not been changed in any way if you do not set this indicator the system will plan only the components that have undergone any change in the uh, subsequent uh, planning process and then after entering all these details a press enter to proceed with the system system will give an alert check all the parameters because depending on the parameter only we are going to get the output so also there is option to show what are the mrp results so here we see the results of mrp if we select this option and display the metal list if you want to see the list of materials we can select this option so the system will show the list of materials which are created for a mrp we see the result of the mrp run by scrolling down we can see the details like a metals planned orders changed deleted list of metals etc by pressing the materials button on this page it will take us to the list of metals planned with many other materials like exception materials or the metal mass parameters those things we can see in this list now we are seeing the new mrp that is called mrp live to run this transaction is md01n menu path is shown here so mrp live can be run uh, can run based on with different selection parameters like plant or materials or a product group mrp controller metal scope like mps mrp those kind of things and also that uh, uh, metal scope here one way discuss it is all materials or mrp only or mps only and then whether system has to consider all the bom selected metals in the mrp and also we have option whether to include the stock transfer metals to consider under mrp run and then whether we have to go for regenerative planning we discuss about regenerative planning this means that the entire uh, planning has to be done for the total plant and then scheduling whether you have to do the scheduling based on basic data lead time scheduling planning mode we discuss adapt planning data as if it is otherwise delete and recreate planning data these options also are also there you may also please note that there are some options which are removed from these selection parameters considering the speed at which system will work and also the data which are available so that some of the things are removed from here so don't expect the same selection parameters here one or two things will be not be here after entering all these details execute the transaction to run mrp system will run mrp this is the result of uh, mrp run so here we can see the list of metals starting from fg through as sfg and then through components and then to raw metals like that the sequence wise it will be there you can see many columns here to see like what is the time it has taken what are the materials whether it has run with the classic mrp or the uh, mrp live the you no know, all the details are available here mrp live results can also be analyzed using the transaction what is shown here md underscore mrp underscore force underscore classic here you can put the metal plant and all those things so it will show that what is the mrp is run or not you no know, what is the status anything is there any issue those things we can see from here now let us understand what is the difference between the classic mrp run and the mrp live in classic mrp mrp list was generated after each mrp run mrp list was a static until the next mrp run because of mrp live mrp list is not generated rather we will be using stock requirement list which is dynamic one and mrp list were traditionally saved into tables mdkp mdtb mdtc and those parameters were used to for some custom reports but now those reports will not work when using the mrp live because they will no longer be updated and mrp live will not use uh, creation indicators that is a pr indication or anything because system will create the pr for all mrp live automatically mrp live will always create purchase request for metals procured externally if the creation of plant orders for metal procured is still required and then using a abap managed uh, database procedure badi the details are given here you can change the mrp element to be generated during the planning run that is option but again that is not uh, suggested or if the organization needs this then this can be done this way so what are the advantages of mrp live 
with mrp live it is possible to plan ppds advanced planning metals when ppds used in s4 hana system along with this you can use it you can combine ppds and mrp as a single job this feature is not available in classic mrp it is major improvement delivered for mrp live when mrp live is much faster than classic mrp when planning large sets and very complex materials but if you are running few materials and the simple things then classic mrp is also fast keep in mind that mrp live has been defined by sap as the target architecture and classic mrp is now considered as the sap s4 on a compatibility pack which means the features and improvements will mostly focus on mrp live rather than classic mrp so start to use mrp live and understand what are all the positive things and negative things keep giving your feedback to sap so that they can also fine tune this and improve and give a good system to us so in this session we discuss about what is a classic mrp what is mrp like how to run them what is the difference between these two those things we discussed now let us go through the quiz questions of this session what are the organization elements used to run mrp live is the mrp list generated in traditional mrp in classic mrp is it possible to run mrp live in the background mrp live in the background whether it is possible these are the questions in the next session we will discuss how to evaluate mrp results which are very important for planners and buyers meanwhile please work on um, the master data demand then run mrp and see the results by yourself meanwhile please give your feedback to improve the flow and contents of our course and also refer these to your friends to subscribe to the channel so that they also get the benefit thank you see you in the next session take care bye